So next one of our thermal problems that we're going to take a look at. This one deals with engine efficiency. All right, uh, this one is a two-part question. An engine with 12% efficiency does 105 joules of work in each cycle. How much heat is absorbed in each cycle? Okay, well, our efficiency is equal to the work that we get out of the engine, the work out divided by the heat absorbed from the hot reservoir. Now remember, the idea of the engine is it takes energy in in the form of heat from a hot reservoir. It does some cycles on it where it produces some work and then kicks out some waste heat into the low reservoir. All right, they tell us that our efficiency is equal to 12% which is equal to 0 0.12. This is how percentages work. All right? And since we know that the efficiency is defined as the amount of work out divided by the amount of heat energy that we give the engine, we can now set this up. So if the efficiency equals the work out divided by the heat put in, I can move things around. I want to solve for the heat. They want me to find how much heat is put in. So I'm going to multiply both sides by QH. The heat from the hot reservoir. I'm going to move that over here. Then I'm going to divide by the efficiency. So I need to divide by the efficiency. And I end up with the following equation. Q in equals work out divided by the efficiency. Well, my information says that our efficiency was 12%, 0 0.12. There are no units on it, it's just a number. And our work was 105 joules. 105 divided by 0.12. We find that the heat, I'm sorry, I marked this Q in, which is still technically accurate, but we're talking about the heat from the hot reservoir. I've been thinking first law of thermodynamics a little too much recently. All right, uh, this says that it should come up to 875 joules. That's the heat absorbed from the hot reservoir. Second part of the question says, how much heat is rejected in each cycle? That's looking for the heat dumped into the cold reservoir. All right, so what we're looking at then for QC. Now, with energy conservation, what we're going to find is the amount of energy we take in is going to be then put into the work that we get out, or since we neither create nor destroy energy, if we took in 875 joules and we know 105 joules of that went into work, the energy that is missing has to go somewhere, it becomes waste energy, waste heat, I should say, that is then rejected into the cold reservoir. This is conservation of energy. Now, theoretically, it could be stored in the gas itself in our engine, but remember, in one complete cycle, which is what we're looking at, the gas always comes back to where it started, which means it will have the same energy that it started with. So these are the only places that the energy can go in an engine. We're going to take in 875 joules, and if 105 of it went into work, whatever is left has to be rejected into the cold reservoir. So I subtract 105 from both sides, and I'm going to find that QC comes up to 770 joules.